So this is what my entryway currently looks like. The rug is from Facebook Marketplace and so is the entryway table. It's painted a beige color, but I really want to strip it down since it's solid wood, but we're going to keep it as is for now. So then I started out by hanging this mirror that I also found on Facebook Marketplace. You'll see this is a trend throughout this video because I do source a lot from Facebook Marketplace since it's reasonable pricing and you can find some good stuff. But I do believe that this mirror is from Hobby Lobby, so I'll link it below if I could find the link. And I don't love this doorbell panel thing, so I'm covering that up with a painting. This painting is actually from a flea market that I found on Cape Cod, but I love the fall colors that it brings. Like I was saying before, I don't really love the color of this entryway table. Eventually I will strip the paint off and bring the natural wood back, but for now I'll just cover it up with this throw from Target. <laughs> So I found these two ottomans on Facebook Marketplace and I figured they'd be perfect right under the entryway table. I didn't love the color so I decided that I'm going to reupholster them. So after giving them a good clean I decided that I'm just going to reupholster them over the old fabric. It may be the laziest way to do it but it's also the easiest so I'm just going to go for it. I found this fabric at Joann's in the clearance section and I really love the texture and color of it. So I cut it down to size to reupholster the top first and then I just cut around the edges to take off some excess fabric. This will just make it easier when you're reupholstering so you don't have so much fabric you're working with. And believe me, I'm no expert at this. I just like to do things myself to save a little bit of money. So I started by pulling the fabric pretty tight and putting a few staples in. This is just a good starting point to keep the fabric in place. And once everything's in place, this is when I started to really reupholster the top. I started by folding it a little bit and pulling it tightly. I don't know if there's a better method to this. This is just kind of what worked for me. If you see here, I'm just folding it slightly and pulling it tight. This kind of eliminates that extra fabric. And once it's in the right place, I just put a few staples in it to make sure it's secure. If you're ever gonna reupholster something, just buy the electric stapler. This literally has changed my life. The other one I was using just made my hand hurt after a while and this is just so easy. But anyway, I continued doing this method throughout the whole top of the ottoman and I did the same for the other one as well. And I think it came out pretty good. It's not perfect, but that's fine. And for the other half of the ottoman, I just took off the backing on the bottom and also in the inside so I can put the fabric on and then I will reapply that at the end. I basically just did the same thing that I did for the top. I just put a few staples in to secure it down first and then I flipped it over, cut off some of the excess because it just makes it so much easier. And then I just basically pulled it tight and put some staples in. I feel like this was so much easier than the top. I don't know why. It felt like there was less excess fabric, so I didn't have to do the folding thing, which just made it a lot easier and it looked a lot better. But once I finished with the bottom, I just reapplied the backing to give it a seamless look throughout. The inside was a little bit more difficult because it felt like there was nothing to staple the staples into, but I did the same kind of method throughout the inside. And once the inside was done, I also reapplied that backing. I don't have footage of it, but it's the same concept. And then here I'm just using my nail gun to secure the backing onto the top piece. And this is how they came out. I think they came out really cool and for under $30, you really can't go wrong. And then I added this throw blanket that I actually found at Goodwill but has great fall colors. And then I added two coffee table books, The Art of Home and Magnolia Table. On top of the books, I added this organic base that I found at HomeSense. I really love how much texture it has and I love the little two handles. And then in the vase, I'm adding these faux flowers that I found at Michael's. I really love how these flowers have dark, moody fall colors. In general, I kind of tend to lean more towards moody and dark colors instead of stark whites. So I just bent the bottom of the stem just to lower the height a little and I fluffed them out so they really fill up the vase. Next to the vase, I added this little pumpkin that I found from Target and I also added this basket which is from Target which I felt brought a little bit more warmth to the space. First thing I added to this basket was two books that I thrifted and then I added this glass pumpkin which is also from Target. I also added this brass candle that is also from Target. You can probably see a theme here. And then the last thing I'm gonna add to this basket is this tall stone vase, which is also from HomeSense. And then I just added these two faux flower stems, which are from Michaels. And here's how this look came out.
For this look, I did strip down most of the decor. I left some basic things like the ottoman, the blanket, the table covering, and the mirror. I am going to switch out the piece of art for a different one. This piece of art I actually thrifted at Goodwill. It is a print, but it does have nice fall moody colors as well. I wanted to source a big vase for this design to add some faux flowers. I saw this at Goodwill and I decided that I'm going to make it into a vintage distressed vase. I started out by adding some joint compound to the vase. This will give it some texture since it has a smooth surface. I want it to look more worn and old and distressed. There was no method for this for me. I just kind of used my hands because I was using that spatula thing and <laughs> it wasn't really working. So I just kind of added as much texture as I can. And once it was dry, I used this polyurethane to seal it before painting it because I realized that the joint compound was coming up when I started painting it. And I just used a beige color paint that I had laying around to cover over the white. I didn't want it to change the color dramatically, so it is just an off-white. It's hard to tell because the lighting in my apartment's really bad. But anyway, after doing a few coats of paint and letting it dry, this is how it came out. In this phase, I really wanted a dark colored flower that had really dark moody fall colors. So I found these dark purple flowers at Michael's and I really like how they look in this phase. I just started out by folding the bottom of each stem to lower the height and then fluffing them out just like I did in the last vase to kind of fill it out and make them tip over the top. Leaning against the vase, I placed two thrifted books. I love thrifting books. There's always great deals and they're so cute. And then leaning against those books, I placed these two pumpkins that are from Target. I really like how they look like stone and they kind of have like a mossy vibe. And then these two books I found at flea markets for $2 each. So I stacked them on top and I added this catch-all bowl from Target and here's how it came out. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. Wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters so I cry instead so once again, I brought the entry table back to the basics with the ottomans, the table covering, the mirror, and I'm going to switch out the art piece for the last time to this art piece that is from Target. You've probably seen this art piece before, but I absolutely love the frame and how calming the colors are. On one side of the table, I placed the Art of Home book. On top of that, I placed a thrifted book that is all black with some gold lettering. I wanted to add a lamp to this look. I thrifted this lamp a while back and I painted it. Ended up hating the color, so I decided I'm gonna repaint it. I'm gonna add some texture to the lamp first because I just didn't like how flat it was. So with the same method as the vase, I just added some joint compound and I used my hand to add as much texture as I can. There was definitely no method to this once again. I just did what I felt was right in the moment. I think you should always do that. Just go with your gut. <laughs> And then once this was dry, I used a few different shades of brown to add some dimension to the lamp, but the base I mainly used a dark brown and then I added some lighter shades of brown and tan and some white and black. I don't know, I just added a bunch of different paint. I think this is one of these projects you just have to go with your gut once again. There's no way to do this wrong, I promise you. You can just add another layer of paint if you don't like the one below it. And once I added all the layers and all the shades of paint that I wanted to and I got the desired look I wanted to, I let it dry and here's how it came out. And I really love how worn and rustic it looks. And then beside the lamp, I found this marble tray at Target. It's from Casa Luna, which inside I added this ribbed candle from Target that's a sort of a green color and this candle snuffer that I found at a thrift store for a dollar and just a pair of earrings. And on the other side of the table, I placed this stone cylinder that I found at HomeSense and this glass pumpkin, once again, that is from Target. Inside the cylinder, I placed two stems of those faux fall flowers. By placing these faux stems in here, I thought it would bring more height to the side of the table and balance everything out. And now let's see how this look turned out. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us 
us crazy, but things are finally right with you and I. The future.